Welcome to the Eternal Bible Quiz YouTube channel. You are on your way to experience a journey of deep exploration of the Bible with us. Today, we will explore 21 fascinating questions, the secrets hidden in the pages of the Holy Book, and explore together the depths of faith and knowledge. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from us. For now, let's get started. Question 1. Which animal is described as having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth? A. The lion. B. The lamb. C. The dragon. D. The eagle. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, the Lamb. Revelation, chapter 5, verse 6 in King James Version states, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a Lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Question 2. Complete the verse. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and A. Lean not on your own understanding. B. Do not fear, for he is with you. C. Do not follow the wisdom of men. D. He will lead you to prosperity. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 in King James Version states, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Question 3. What was the reason Noah cursed Ham's son, Canaan? A disrespecting Noah. B. Ham refused to build the ark. C. Ham had insulted his brothers. D. Ham saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. Ham saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. Genesis chapter 9 verse 22 verse 24 25 in King James Version states, And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. Question 4. Who said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not? A. Jacob B. Moses C. Jacob D. David You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Jacob. Genesis chapter 28 verse 16 in King James Version states, And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Question 5. Who was the dealer of purple cloth that Paul met in Philippi? A. Priscilla B. Dorcas. C. Lydia. D. Phoebe. You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter C, Lydia. Acts chapter 16 verse 14 in King James Version states, And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira which worshipped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. Question 6. Who was the only female judge of Israel? A. Ruth B. Esther C. Miriam D. Deborah You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. Deborah Judges chapter 4, verse 4 in King James Version states, And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. Question 7. Who was Jeremiah's father? A. Hilkiah B. Josiah C. Shalom D. Gedaliah. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Hilkiah, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 1 in King James Version states, The words of Jeremiah the son of Hilkiah, of the priests that were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, Question 8. Who killed Abner, the commander of Saul's army? A. David B. Joab C. Abishai D. Benaiah You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Joab. Samuel chapter 3 verse 26 through 27 in King James Version states, And when Joab was come out from David, he sent messengers after Abner, which brought him again from the well of Sirah, but David knew it not. And when Abner was returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him quietly, and smote him there under the fifth rib, that he died for the blood of Asahel his brother. Question 9. What weapon did Shamgar use to kill 600 Philistines? A. Sword B. Bow and arrow C. Ox goad D. Spear You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, ox goad. Judges. Chapter 3, verse 31 in King James Version states, And after him was Shamgar the son of Anath, which slew of the Philistines six hundred men with an ox goad, and he also delivered Israel. Question 10. Who cursed and stoned King David? A. Shimei B. Ahithophel C. Mephibosheth D. Zeba You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Shimei Say, Samuel chapter 16 verse 5 to 6 in King James Version states, when King David came to Bahurim, there came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera, and as he came he cursed continually. And he threw stones at David, 
and at all the servants of King David, and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. Who killed Absalom during the battle in the forest of Ephraim? A. David B. Joab C. Abishai D. Amasa You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Joab. Samuel chapter 18 verse 14 in King James Version states, Then said Joab, I may not tarry thus with thee. And he took three darts in his hand, and thrust them through the heart of Absalom, while he was yet alive in the midst of the oak. Question 12. Who killed Eglon, the king of Moab, with a double-edged sword? A. Gideon B. Ehud C. Samson D. Abimelech You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Ehud Judges chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, verse 21 22 in King James Version states, But Ehud made him a dagger, which had two edges of a cubit length, and he did gird it under his raiment upon his right thigh, and he brought the present unto Eglon king of Moab. And Eglon was a very fat man, and Ehud put forth his left hand, and took the dagger from his right thigh, and thrust it into his belly. And the haft also went in after the blade, and the fat closed upon the blade, so that he could not draw the dagger out of his belly, and the dirt came out. Question 13. What was the name of the queen who visited Solomon to test his wisdom? A. Sheba B. Esther C. Jezebel D. Athalia You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Sheba. 1 Kings chapter 10 verse 1 in King James Version states, and when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. Question 14. Who killed Jezebel by throwing her out of a window? A. Jehu B. Ahab C. Elisha D. Elijah you have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Jehu. Kings, chapter 9, verse 31, 33 in King James Version states, And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, Had Zimri peace who slew his master? And he lifted up his face to the window and said, who is on my side? Who? And there looked out to him two or three eunuchs, and he said, Throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses, and he trod her underfoot. Question 15. Who were Job's three friends who came to comfort him during his suffering? A. Eliphaz, Elihu, and Zophar B. Elihu, Bildad, and Zophar C. Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar D. Elihu, Eliphaz, and Bildad You have 10 seconds. The 
right answer is letter C, Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar. Job. Chapter 2, verse 11 in King James Version states, Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, they came every one from his own place, Eliphaz the Temanite, and Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite, for they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. Question 16. What was the length of time the Hebrews spent in Egypt? A. 150 years B. 270 years C. 365 years D. 430 years You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, 430 years. Exodus chapter 12 verse 40 in King James Version states, Now the sojourning of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was 430 years. Question 17. What did God initially give as food for humans and animals? A. Fish and seafood. B. Dairy products. C. Seed and fruits. D. Vegetable. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Seed and fruits. Genesis chapter 1 verse 29 in King James Version states, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. Question 18. What was the first plague that God brought upon Egypt? A. Water turned to blood. B. Plague of frogs. C. Plague of gnats. D. Plague of boils. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, water turned to blood. Exodus chapter 7 verse 17 to 18 in King James Version states, Thus saith the Lord, In this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that is in the river shall die, and the river shall stink. And the Egyptians shall loathe to drink of the water of the river. Question 19. Who was the mother of Joseph and Benjamin? A. Leah B. Zilpah C. Bilhah D. Rachel You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, Rachel. Genesis chapter 35, verse 24 in King James Version states, The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. Question 20. Who were Naomi's two daughters-in-law? A. Orpah and Ruth. B. Ruth and Leah. C. Rachel and Miriam. D. Sarah and Rebecca. You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter A, Orpah and Ruth. Ruth chapter 1 verse 3 of 4 in King James Version states, And Elimelech Naomi's husband died, and she was left and her two sons, and they took them wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth, and they dwelled there about ten years. Question 21. Who was Isaac's father? A. Abraham B. Noah C. Jacob D. Lot You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Abraham Genesis chapter 21 verse 3 in King James Version states, And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. Thank you for joining us on Bible Quiz Channel. Comment and let us know how many questions you answered correctly. Invite your loved ones and friends to join us in exploring the depths of the Bible together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you on our next journey. Goodbye, and remember, sharing knowledge is truly wonderful.